And then moving on to our next question and going first, we'll have Doreen talk about how did you decide what did you want to major in college? Hey, so I'd, I'd say um, deciding what I wanted to major in college was quite a journey that I had to go through because for so long I had to think of, so what do I want to do in the future? You know, that question would always be in my mind whenever I meet someone. So what do you want to be in the future? You know, that question would always be in my mind. And I'd say um, one thing that really helped was seeing, so what am I passionate about? So like, what have I been involving myself in the last past years? And one thing that I did notice is I've been really involved in terms of like environmentally related issues. So I do like climate action programs programs in my community, whether it be climate education programs for like the youth in my community or like um, beach cleanups, you know, those sort of initiatives. And also one thing is that through those initiatives, I was able to network with people in the field of the environmental science field. And I got to know what are they doing? Like what exactly could you do with an environmental studies major, which is something that I plan on majoring in college. So from learning from them and seeing that at the end of the day, they were successful in what they're majoring in. And I I'd say that really did um, inspire me to make to choose to major environmental studies. And also I do want to do economics as alongside environmental studies. And that stemmed from doing economics in my high school, um, during high school. And I'd say I'd want it as an addition to environmental studies. But another thing I'd say is really was um, stemmed from networking with other people in the field and seeing what, you know, what is involved in the environmental studies field. And last day, I remember doing this was going on different colleges and seeing the majors list and I look at the courses that are like in different majors. So I think I remember spending time like looking at literally every major, you know, trying to see like, maybe this is something I'd like to do in college. So um, one networking, following my passion and also like browsing through the courses list on the environment. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. And then on to Nyla. Um, so for me, I, in, when I was choosing my major, I kind of thought of what I've been good at the past four years in high school, because when you are in high school, you have a broad range of like classes that you're taking, history, science, English, and I kind of thought of what I enjoyed the most and what I was good at, and also what I wanted to do in the future. So I know for me, I've always just loved learning and being a student. So um. I wanted to pick a career that would kind of allow me to do that. So something that I landed on was kind of research, um, scientific research, and also maybe pursuing medicine. Um, and so with that, I also looked back at my high school experiences and I really enjoyed my science classes and the time that I spent in labs um, and just in that like science setting. So for me, I ended up realizing that I wanted to do something science related, but then I was like, okay, I want to pick my niche because um, it's always just good to like know as much as you can. It's okay if you don't, but if you are able to get there as like closely um, figure out what it is you want to study. And for me, I really love interacting with humans and um, the intersection of those two, my science, um, my passion for science and my passion for humans. I landed on neuroscience because it is the study of the brain and the brain is involved in so many um, human, like it's your brain, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of involved in every single thing that we've done. And it also explains a lot of things in history because it's like um, the choices people made have a huge, um, your brain has a huge role in that. And so I landed on neuroscience because I felt like it'd give me um, a specialization that I could really pursue with a lot of passion and also, um, a broad range of career choices that I could also pursue in the future. So yeah, just looking at what you're good at and what you've been good at and um, what you're passionate about and how that could like help you get a, um, land at a career that you're um, passionate about and good in, in the future. Amazing. And I'd like to open it up now to the rest of our panelists if they have anything else they'd like to add. Awesome. I would really just echo what both of um, Doreen and Nyla said, especially Nyla in terms of do what you're good at, I would say. I think for me in high school, I struggled a lot with the maths and the sciences. Like obviously they weren't terrible, but they were not classes that I enjoyed. I didn't really get that much joy or like things that like excited me when I was doing them. So almost the opposite of Nyla, I knew that like reading, writing, researching, that was the kind of things that I was good at and there are careers in that field. So I think it's really important that you obviously do something that you could see a successful career in, but you also do something that you would 
somewhat, at least at a minimum level, I think, enjoy is really important and that you'd be good at. And I think a really big reason for this is because college is harder than high school. The classes you take will be more like difficult than the ones you took in high school. So if you were struggling in classes in high school, do note that like those would be ones that you had to build up once you get to college. And for me, I knew that the maths probably wouldn't be my journey, but um, that's why I ended up going into political science and government and politics, because those were things that I had, one, a lot of background in and things that I did well in high school. And yeah, all right, awesome. And